All right. Hello, everyone. I did one for last week, but we haven't uploaded it yet. That's all you get about that right now. Um, a big, it was a big week for Spider-Man. I got a couple questions for the writers, and also for YouTube. It would help if, if you had someone to, like, read the, um, the, um, the, the questionnaires or whatever. Because I tried taking them, but I can't read all that well. I'm just remembering this shit. I've been told I have a really good memory. Okay? But, yeah. So, yeah. That's my opinion on that. Anyway, to the comics. Okay. In this one, we're doing that one later. You go over there. Okay. In this one, renew your vows. Um. They. Let's see. Had they went on vacation, right? It was all a big flashback. And you got to see Namor the Submariner. Yeah. It was really cool. I kind of liked it, but like I said, I have some questions about what I read in Spider-Man and how it connects. And if anyone can answer it for me, by all means, you're my audience. I do listen to you, so, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Because in actual Spider-Man, in actual Spider-Man, there is more than a brief appearance from Normie Osborn. And I found out that Normie has a brother? What's up with that? Yeah, I, I, I know. I mean, what's up with that? You, you don't even mention it once in here. But yet, Harry now has two kids. Or are we to believe because he married Mary Jane in that timeline, um, somehow they didn't have two kids? Why wouldn't Peter want him to have a second kid? And how would that even work? I, I don't know. I was right about the Red Goblin. Thanks again, Mike, Spider Slayer, for... If I didn't watch his reviews, I wouldn't be up to date in, in Spider-Man at all. I mean, I'd be up to date and renew your vows, Spider-Man, but Amazing Spider-Man, nah, uh -uh. Yeah. Anyway, good book. Let's give it a four, maybe? Sounds good? Um, in this, you find out, in Amazing Spider-Man, you find out that the Carnage symbiote is still in Normie. Yeah, I'm going to spoil this. So, you have been warned. The current symbiote is still in Normie. Does that mean it went over to this book? Yeah. Does that mean it went over? Or, or, because I've been begging them, again, renew your vows, to, to, um, Bring back Carnage. And all of a sudden, amazing, this one d did that. Yeah. Um, it looks like the Carnage symbiote dies, so that may be, may be why, um, 
maybe why that we don't see the car and symbiote in Renew Your Vows. I don't know. Or it may be because it was destroyed by Sentry. I, again, I, I don't know. I, I would like some clear answers. Answers would be nice. Um, it looks like Flash Thompson's dead. And amazing. But, I don't know. And as far as I can see, Flash didn't survive to renew your vows, so... And does that, and does that mean that, um, whatever Normie, whatever Norman Osborne Jr., the second Norm, the second Normie, <laughs> did, is yet to come and amazing, or is this back in time? I'm overthinking it because it is one of my favorite characters, and I love that it made it 800 issues. <laughs> and if it weren't for fans like me, the book wouldn't exist. Yeah, that's how I look at it. So, yeah. Again, answers would be nice. But overall, good book. Understood it. Mom had a few gaps here and there, I mean, but I think you understood it by the end, right, Mom? Amazing. The one we just read. The one that had three chapters, it was really nice. Three chapters. I, I enjoyed it. You understood it by the end of it, though, right? Yeah. So, yeah. I would just like some basic questions answered in regards to the Renew Your Vows characters. But that's not up to you guys. It's up to the Renew Your Vows team. Anyway. Now, on to Plastic Man and the Terrifics. Yeah, um, in this one, in number three, you may recall I ended it with, you, on Mother's Day, you may recall that I ended it with, you found, you wonder who Tom Strong is. You don't get an answer to that in this one. Instead, you meet Phantom Girl's parents, which... By the way, if you're keeping count of how many Legionnaires there are now in present time, no Starman, Saturn Girl, Brainy, and Saturn Girl, Brainy, and Phantom Girl. That's all three of them. Yeah, we all miss Starman, Mom. <laughs> we miss Starman. Bring him back. Well, Mom. Yeah, Thom. We should be more specific. Because there is Jack Knight, and with our luck, they probably may bring back Jack Knight. I mean, Courtney's okay. You don't have to kill her. Again, I'm sorry I'm yelling, but Courtney's okay. You don't have to kill her, but I, I would like to find out why What's up with Starman? I mean, in this crazy universe, his gibberish, like I said, compared to Booster Gold's, what they had Booster going through seems almost normal. Okay. Think about that. You went home Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they heard you. That was funny. She said that in case you didn't hear her, she said, no, sometimes you can't. He went home on Spaghetti Wednesday. Then he got lost. Okay, sorry. I, I, I'm yeah, done. then he got I'm lost. Done. Good. Okay, I, I like that, though. That was very... Yeah. 
uh, I, I'm thinking about picking up Plastic Man, but that's only if it ties in with this book. And I'm not going to pick up other books expecting tie-ins because that's not working out for me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I would still very much like to know what happened to Ben Riley in the um in in the renew your renew your vows, but they aren't telling you in Scarlet Spider. So, as far as I know, he hasn't even seen future Ben Riley. So, yeah, that's why I kind of picked up Scarlet Spider there for a little while. We're still going to read the two I have, but, yeah. If you don't look out, Marvel, DC is going to get your precious money. And you can't have that. I might pick up Plastic Man. Ooh. Anyway. And again, I don't have it here with me, but I read the tech recently. The free comic book day tech. And it was enjoyable. Or rather, mom read it to me. Yeah. So, I, I, I don't have anything to end on. Have a good day, your friend Bob. And take care of each other. And remember, in the immortal words of Red Green, we're all in this together.